guys. So as many of you are probably aware, recently TikTok dances have become like a big thing. They have a lot of movements like this or this or this. Now, I don't know about you, but when I first saw these movements, I thought, huh, those movements are a lot like simple and coupled harmonic oscillators. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys all about how you can choreograph a TikTok dance using the principles of classical mechanics. So I use the term oscillator, but what is an oscillator? An oscillator is anything, literally anything, that has repetitive motion, like a yo-yo, a dinner plate rattling when it hits the table. Even your daily routine is oscillatory because you're repeating the same tasks over and over. Now a harmonic oscillator is a specific type of oscillator with a more predictable motion. A few simple harmonic oscillators which are commonly found are springs, pendulums, or buoys bobbing in water. These types of oscillators are called simple harmonic oscillators because if you were to graph the motion of these objects, it would look like a sine wave. All oscillators have a natural frequency at which they oscillate. That just means that there's a natural rhythm at which they may bounce or sway at when they're set in motion. For instance, if you're working at a piano, you can adjust the natural frequency of your metronome. You can make it anywhere from 200 beats per minute to 100 beats per minute to as slow as 40 beats per minute. Just like this metronome, all objects have a natural frequency at which they oscillate. Here's where it gets even cooler. You can connect oscillators in a system to get what's called a system of coupled harmonic oscillators. Just like normal oscillators, these systems will have some natural frequencies in which all of the oscillators oscillate in sync. The more objects you add to a system, the more natural frequencies it will have. For instance, if you connect two pendulums with a spring, that system will have two natural frequencies. If you have four mass, four natural frequencies, five masses, five natural frequencies, and so on. Each natural frequency of a system has a unique pattern of motion associated with it. So how does this relate to TikTok dances? Well, many TikTok dances look a lot like simple harmonic motion, like a pendulum or a spring. So if you've got three body parts oscillating in a spring-like motion, say your head and your two hands, there will be three types of movement, just like the spring example, that you can follow. If you imagine that your head and hands are connected with springs, then there are only three variations of the dance move that you can do while still moving to the rhythm of the music. The first dance would look like the first natural frequency of the spring system, where all three body parts are moving together. The second dance would look like the second natural frequency of the spring system, where your head is staying still with your two hands oscillating around it. And finally, the third dance move, and my personal favorite, would have your head moving in the opposite direction of your two hands, just like the third natural frequency of the spring system. You can try it for yourself. If you're moving with this type of swinging, there's only those three ways that you can move and still have a successful TikTok dance. You can move your head and hand in other ways, but you wouldn't naturally want to do that because that wouldn't naturally make you a good dancer moving to the beat of the song. Similarly, the spring system can move in ways other than the three natural frequencies, but it doesn't naturally want to do that because only at the three natural frequencies will all three masses be moving in sync with each other. Another example of a dance move that's really similar to a coupled harmonic oscillator system is when you have your two arms swinging side by side like two pendulums coupled by a spring. Just like pendulums, there are only two ways that your arms can move and still have a successful dance that's on beat. You could have your arms moving together or exactly opposite one another. Any other combination of motions with your two arms swinging could work, but you'd be off the beat and you wouldn't want to dance like that. So the next time you're grooving along to a TikTok dance, you can appreciate how your motion can be modeled by a system of coupled harmonic oscillators.